Remember that game Simon Says, playing that as a kid? I sure do. If you're not familiar with the game, basically somebody tells you what to do. In other words, they say, hey, raise your hand. And if you raise your hand and they didn't say Simon Says, you're out. Now, I know it's just a game, but the metaphor hits so close to home for many people. Here's the point. So many of us are living life as adults as if we're playing Simon Says. We go out and we think, hey, maybe I should do my dream or maybe I should make uh, a book happen or start a business. And then we feel like, oh, oh, somebody is a naysayer. Somebody pushes us back. Somebody holds us holds us down. It could be, it could be a family member and they're just trying to be... Um, they care about you. They're not the haters, right? Family members usually aren't the haters, but they say, "Well, why why are you going to do that?" or "Do are you are you sure that that's the smartest thing to do?" In other words, they create this doubt, and as a result, we in our brains go back to the point where we were kids and we say, "Oh, Simon didn't say. Simon didn't say I could start a business. Simon didn't say I'm allowed to do a book. And so what we do is we live our lives based upon other people's permission. Can you relate? Go ahead, type in the comments below if you can relate. If you've ever lived life based upon other people's permission, go ahead, type in below. I know I did. For years I did. For years I kind of lived this life where certain people wouldn't give me permission to do certain things and as a result I basically curbed my enthusiasm I didn't live my dream now I'll tell you what rocked my world this is a personal story here but I think you'll be able to relate I, I think it might inspire you hopefully so I did my doctorate right so I'm doing my doctorate degree I don't even remember anything from any class that I did it was on transformational leadership my degree but here's the point back then I was a pastor and I'll never forget what one teacher said in one class so I'm gonna reduce my entire doctoral program into this one quick story here's the point here's here's what happened the person who was teaching the professor said ladies and gentlemen when you get to heaven God is not going to ask your church to come forward and give an account for how you spent your life. In other words, God's not going to say, hey, hey, you're a pastor. Come on, church, come forward. Come on, elder board or whatever, whoever's running the church. Give an account for how this pastor spent their life. That rocked my world because up until that point in my life, I was literally living based upon, hey, what were the what would the elders at the church think? What would the senior pastor think? What would the church people think? And from that day forward, I said, you know what? That professor is absolutely correct. Look, I don't know if you have a faith. If you don't, I still care about you, still love you, but I'm just sharing what I believe. And and I believe that when you get before God, God's not gonna say, hey. Did you live life according to what your parents said? According to what your grandparents said? God's going to say, hey, you give an account for your life. There is no Simon Says in heaven. Ouch. That's a tweet right there. There is no Simon Says in heaven. You are going to have to give an account for how you spent your life. And it's not going to be based upon other people's permission. This is Carrie Overbrunner. Be a soul on fire today. Listen, life is too short. Life is too short to live according to other people's permission. See ya.